I'm gonna try and just rock one normal bag today, like a lady. I'm not gonna look like a boy today. And I remember waking up and I had an itchy throat, a stuffy nose, and I was still sneezing all day long. It was crazy. I hate when I get coconut oil or like Vaseline stains on my, my clothes and I have to walk around with it for the rest of the day. Long story short, I came back. This is my first time back here in years and I was hoping that it was the older, the old people that used to, to work here there because it was their shop. acupuncture today I am having like a me day I'm just like trying to be all calm and have some self-care I hate that whole self-care term but I'm having self-care today because it's a special day for me it's my birthday yeah so I'm pretty much gonna be by myself for the majority of the day but it's okay we're going to do things relaxing and happy and fun and all that stuff so I'm gonna put you guys on the charger <laughs> I'm gonna hop in the shower and we're gonna get our day started So let's do an outfit of the day. This top, flutter sleeves, um, it's kind of cropped or it is cropped, and the shorts are like um, I don't know what you would call it, but the the pants that I like, it's nice and so. Oh my gosh, my legs are so ashy. But my pants are like so like light. I don't know how, what kind of pants those are called, but I wear these very often. Both of them are thrifted, of course. This top is from Teen Bell, and the pants are from No Boundaries, actually. I normally don't put effort into accessories unless I'm doing something special, but I think I'm gonna try and just rock one normal bag today, like a lady. I'm not gonna look like a boy today <laughs> with walking around my backpack, like I am, but I'll probably just keep it in the car everywhere I go. But I'll probably pair this with the rest of my outfits. Yes, yes, what do you think? <laughs> is, that, is that enough purple for you? <laughs> so I don't have a better mirror, but this is what the outfit is looking like. I'm gonna go walk Jonah and we're gonna head out. wait till the cop pass before I can pull a camera out. I don't know the rules on vlogging and driving. I don't know if that's a thing. Okay, so I want to tell you guys a quick story of what happened to me the other day. So I got some essential oils sent to me and one was like basically it's like a, almost like a bubble bath and the other one's just the oil itself. So I was taking a bath with the oil and all of a sudden like my I just started like my nose started running like crazy and when I say crazy like like too much information like it was just it was just pouring out of my nose <laughs> I was like what the heck so after I after like um like I finished bathing or whatever I noticed that I started sneezing like uncontrollably like I was sneezing like crazy non-stop like five six seven sneezes an hour i feel one coming on now i'm gonna hold it back and then when i was going to bed my nose was so stuffy i had some on my hands so i put um i touched my face i broke out on my face <laughs> that was the worst allergic reaction i've ever had to anything before it happened so quickly and so dramatically when i i couldn't sleep that night because i was like 
stuffy and every time I did wake up I was sneezing like in the middle of the night I turned over I just sneeze and I remember waking up and I had an itchy throat a stuffy nose and I was still sneezing all day long it was crazy I don't know how many times I've said crazy and now I'm behind the police officer so when I got home from work last night, I took an allergy pill to see if that helped. And that ended up making me so drowsy, I fell asleep. I couldn't even celebrate my own birthday on, at midnight. <laughs> but when I woke up this morning, like my voice sounds like, it still doesn't sound like my voice completely. Um, but I haven't coughed or anything. Um, I haven't sneezed yet, although I felt one coming on now. And I'm not stuffy anymore, so I guess the allergy medicine worked. The essential oil that I had was the lavender. <laughs> it was the lavender one. It was so funny because I went, when I went to work, I was, the first thing I was gonna tell my friend about like everything that happened with the lavender essential oil and everything. And before I can even tell her the story, she gives me my birthday gift. And guess what the birthday gift was, guys? It was a candle. Guess what type of candle it was? You guessed it, <laughs> a lavender. So, I did not have the heart to tell her that I am possibly allergic to her candle. <laughs> I don't know if the scent is different from natural oil being on your skin, I don't know. And then also on top of that, lavender is actually not my favorite scent. It's not one of my favorite scents, it's one of my least favorite scents. But I think people just automatically assume that I would be into it and grape food like you know like grape flavored foods because of my color preference but I really I really don't like grape I'm not gonna say I don't like grape flavored things but this is not my favorite and um I just don't like lavender I love the color lavender but not the smell I'm sorry Puncture. It was amazing. I fell asleep. I slept good. I hope she's not trying to go into the nail shop. She's looking at the nail shop thing. But I'm here to get my eyebrows done. Dang it. Had I not taken out the camera first, she wouldn't have been the first in line. I hate when I get coconut oil or like Vaseline stains on my, my clothes and I have to walk around with it for the rest of the day. So freaking annoying. Yeah, had I not taken out my dang camera, I would have been the first in line. But as soon as I took it out, this lady comes and she's like standing in front of the door now, which sucks. Because I wanted to be the first one here. It's gonna open in 15 minutes. Alright, go in it now. Or I'm gonna stand in line, I guess, now. Jamaican lady is going off on somebody on her phone. I feel sorry for that person. <laughs> so I'm done. You guys look at my eyebrows. I haven't even taken a look at it yet. Give me a second. I like them. I like them. They're perfect. They're perfect. So I used to go to these people a long time ago, like 10 years ago, probably 10, almost 10 years ago when I first got my dreadlocks in actually was probably around the last time that I went to them, if I'm not mistaken. Eight or nine years ago, yeah. Anyways, so yeah, it was a long time ago and I stopped going because it's further from where I live because I kind of move like 15 minutes away from here, which is not that far away, but like, it was like out of the way from all the other places that I, that I would normally go to, wasn't in route. And then I moved closer to the area, but I still, didn't come here because this is like seven eight minutes up the road again it's not that far it was always like out of the way kind of kind of deal so anyways um 
I decided to come back to them because they were the only people who got my eyebrows right. They were also on the pricier side. I forgot to mention that. So that was the reason why I wasn't I didn't go out of my way to come here. That's because they were on they're always on the pricier side for all the other stuff. But they always did my eyebrows right. Anyways, long story short, I came back. This is my first time back here in years and I was hoping that it was the older the old people that used to to work here there because it was their shop but it's a whole bunch of new people but I believe it's their shop they're just they just hired people now to work for them so I was a little iffy when I'm like is it um is you know is she gonna do a good job and stuff like the other lady used to do because always one lady that used to there was only two people who used to work here in the shop mind you a wife and a husband um, now they have a whole bunch of workers, but the girl who was in there, she did a really, really good job. So I'm happy about that. I'm glad that if I'm going to spend extra money on something that is going towards something that I'm happy with. <laughs> so I guess I'm just going to have to start coming back to this one. It's perfectly fine. It's only an extra two, three dollars for most shops. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <clears throat> I'm still getting over this allergy thing from my little allergy attack, I, I would like to call it. I mean, if I'm allergic to lavender, so does that technically mean like I'm, I'm allergic to plants, like pollen and stuff? <clears throat> oh my gosh, this is so gross. Anyways, I'm going to eat some breakfast now. I'm going to um, McDonald's before breakfast ends, although it's still probably a lot of time left. It's 9.45 now, so I'm gonna go there. Um, and then... I think I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree afterwards to pick up a few little odds and ends. I left McDonald's and I couldn't get out of there any faster. That place was so cold. I was freezing the whole time. But I'm at, oh, by the way, you guys, I lost five pounds.